Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting with Cardboard. I'm Mr. Waxman, and I'm going to be showing you how to make some fun, easy crafts for all staying home. It's raining outside today, which means it's the perfect weather inside for crafting a little bit of cardboard. Last time we were here, we added cars and peaked roof houses to our cities. And here is one picture of a friend's cardboard and some other artwork being done. Um, I did a really good job. So uh, remember that even if you're not doing this project in particular, uh, you can always find something creative to do at home. So send me pictures of anything artsy you're doing and I will put it on the next episode. Today on Crafting with Cardboard, we'll be making some little cardboard people and some cardboard trees. to really bring our cities to life. So let's get started. For this step, you'll need a table, cardboard, scissors, glue, and something to write with. All right, so now that we have all of our materials, uh, we are going to get started. First things first, I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of cardboard here to use so I can put the rest away for later. Okay, so to make a little cardboard person like this, what we're basically gonna do is just cut out the shape of a person and then give it a little stand in the back to help it stand up. It's just that simple, all right? So you're gonna start by just drawing a person, however you want. Um, it should be thick, right? Like it shouldn't be a stick figure, but if you want, you can start by drawing a stick figure. Just like this. And then trace around the outside of the lines you did for the stick figure. And then you'll end up with the shape of a person that has thickness. It's not just lines. I might add some little scribbles for fingers here because it's pretty easy. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And maybe some hair and ears. Uh, keep in mind that whatever you're drawing, you're going to have to cut out with scissors and that when you're working with cardboard, that can be a little tricky. So keep it as simple as possible. And I'm gonna erase these lines on the inside and cut out my little cardboard citizen. All right, now I have my little cardboard person um, and I'm going to uh, decorate it before I add a stand up the back. And I'm gonna flip it over uh, so that my pencil lines from before don't show. And then this way you can also kind of double check your work to make sure that it still looks good. All right, I'm gonna fix that ear. That's pretty good for a little cardboard boy, not too bad. All right, now I'm gonna color it in. If you guys don't have uh, crayons at home, that's totally fine. You can always just decorate it with like a Sharpie or something. I actually might use that for a little piece. All right. The next step is to add that stand on the back, just like uh, on this guy that I already made, okay? This is really simple, and as you can tell, it's basically just a long, kind of thin triangle, and that's gonna keep your citizen standing up, all right? So, I'm just going to make sure that that stand is basically the same height as my figure. So I'm gonna hold my figure up, I can draw a little line with my pencil here, and I know that that's how tall my stand needs to be. So I'm just going to cut out a little strip. Okay. 
and notice that the bottom is a little bit wider than the top. It kind of looks like a triangle a little bit, but like longer, right? Uh, and the top can be kind of squared off like that as well, all right? So next, I'm gonna make sure that this is gonna fit on top of my Citizen. Boom, perfect. Line that up, good. All right, now I'm just gonna draw a line of glue. And I can pop that right in the middle of that glue. And I'm gonna hold it for a minute. Uh, and once it dries a little bit, I can just leave it in there like that and it'll dry on its own. So while we wait for that to dry, let's go see what Sam's doing down in the workshop. Hey Sam. How's it going? I notice you are not in the workshop today, so. What are you working on? So, uh, in addition to making things out of wood and metal, um, I'm also a photographer, which means I like to take cool photographs. You can see my camera right here. Oh, neat. Um, so, I've been taking some photos, and now I'm just editing them on my computer. Editing, what does that mean? What does it mean to edit something? So, editing is a big part of the photo process. So, once you take a photo, you edit to change the light, the contrast, you can change the colors. Um, so I'll show you an example of something I'm working on. Yeah, let's take a look. So, here's a photo of a dog that I took on a green screen. And I'm going to show you some little basic adjustments that I can make when I'm editing. So I can adjust the exposure, which means I make it darker or brighter. Oh, look at that. I can adjust the contrast, which makes it a little bit more bold, the image. And then I can use these to adjust colors, so I can make it a little bit more green or a little bit more purple. Oh, cool. Kind of like when you're adding different colors of paint together. Exactly. So, with this particular photo, I sh photographed this dog on a green screen. And what the green screen does is it makes it easier to edit the background out. So I can change the background so I can make this dog be anywhere that I want it to be. So this is the original photo. And here's what I did with it. Oh, cool. Look at that. So I removed the background, took another photo off of Google Images, and just put it in the background so it looks like the dog is standing in this parking lot. Wow. And you were even able to make a shadow. That's super mm -hmm. cool. You made a shadow with Photoshop. But wow. Yeah. That's really great. All right, thanks so much, Sam. No problem. All right, wasn't that awesome how Sam was able to take something that he already made, like the picture of the dog, and uh, add things to it and make it even more interesting? Remember that that process is called editing, and it is something all artists do, and it is something we are doing by adding stuff to our cardboard cities every uh, episode. So let's get back to that. Okay, so. Now that our little guy uh, is dry, now that the, the stand on his back is all dried up, um, we should be able to set him on his feet and he stands all on his own, which is pretty cool. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention earlier about these people um, is that you can make them look however you want. You can make them tall or short, you can give them, you can color them in or give them different kinds of clothes, whatever. You can also totally make animals or pets or whatever you want using the same method where you just cut out something flat that you like and then just add like a little piece of cardboard, a little piece of cardboard along the back um, to help it stand up. Um, so that's how you make people or dogs or whatever. Uh, pretty simple, uh, might be a little tricky when you first start, but the more people you make, the better you'll get. All right, moving on. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make some trees. Uh, so let me just grab my example. Okay, so for the trees, um, they are similar to the people in that uh, you have two pieces that stand up, but the cool thing about these is that you don't even need any glue. Um, what you're going to do is cut out two identical trees, cut some slits, and then they should be able to uh, stand up on their own. And I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? I'm going to show you how to make these two different kinds of trees. So first, let's start off with this one because I think it's a little bit simpler. Um, so you're going to want to get your cardboard 
and something to draw with. And just like with this tree, um, you need to make sure that the bottom of your tree has a nice base, kind of, kind of like the roots uh, of the tree. You want to make sure that your tree has something to kind of stand up on, just like the feet of our little people, right? So I'm going to draw a tree. Uh, I'll use this piece first. All right, and then I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so that's one tree, uh, that's one side. Now I need to make another one that's basically identical, which means looks uh, exactly the same as this. Um, I made my trunk a little bit thin. Uh, you're gonna wanna generally go a little bit thicker, uh, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, but to make another tree that looks just like this, I'm just gonna take in another piece of cardboard, trace what I've already cut out, Uh, and then I'm going to cut this out as well, just like before. Okay, now I have my two identical tree sides, all right? And right now at this point you could decorate it a little bit, maybe draw some apples, uh, or some leaves or whatever you want to draw, um, but I'll leave that to you. Um, I'm just going to show you how to make it stand up. All right, so now here comes the tricky part. What you're going to do is you are going to cut, um, here I'll actually show you on this model. You are going to cut um, one of these pieces uh, right down the middle, but going up from the bottom, and you are going to cut the other piece also right down the middle, but coming down from the top. And that way when you slide them together like this, this one's a little wonky now because I've used it a lot, uh, but it should be able to stand up all on its own, just like that. And it looks like a cool little cardboard tree. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna find so the middle point, meaning like somewhere right in the middle. I'm gonna say probably right around here, right around the top of the trunk, the bottom of the leaf part, okay? And one of these I'm gonna cut down in this direction, and one of these I'm gonna cut up in this direction. All right? So let's do that now. You've got to be very careful. Yeah. All right, I'll join you in a minute. And then, once those are cut, you should just be able to slide them together like this. And if the cardboard is strong enough, it should stand up on its own. I think maybe I didn't cut far down enough. Uh, so I'm gonna do just a little further down on this one. <clears throat> and boom. Now it stands up on its own. Very cool. Um, and you can do this with any tree shape. I'm gonna show you how to do the other one uh, in a little bit. Uh, right now, uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you guys something special. All right. All right, um, so last time, while we waited for our projects to dry, I showed you guys a little cartoon of a tree being cut down. And what I forgot to mention was that that was actually uh, something called an animation uh, that I did in college. Uh, which is a really cool way to bring your drawings to life. Uh, and maybe you guys can try that out sometime in your lives too. Uh, so here's another one.
Okay, so uh, that was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that little cartoon uh, that I made. Uh, now let's get back to work. Um, so I just showed you guys how to make like an oak tree or a, I don't know, apple tree or whatever, whatever kind of tree shape this is. Uh, and now I'm going to show you guys how to make a pine tree like this and a little bush like this. These are pretty much the exact same process. It's just about um, drawing and cutting different shapes. Uh, so I'm not really going to be talking much through this. I'm just going to kind of uh, show you. Uh, so here we go. Uh, and now that I have a triangle cut out uh, for the pine tree, now I'm gonna do the like kinda pointy parts. Uh, so originally you can just cut out a triangle with a little uh, tree trunk here. Uh, and then you just add um, some pointy spots. Uh, it's kinda like what a Christmas tree looks like a little bit. Uh, let's see. You don't even necessarily need to draw those. Uh, you can kind of just cut out a bunch of little triangles. Okay, so now just like before, I'm gonna take my tree shape, I'm gonna trace it, and uh, cut it out again so that I can have two. So I just finished cutting out my uh, two pine tree pieces um, and the video skipped for a second but while it was uh, out um, I cut uh, just like I did with the little uh, apple tree thing um, I cut one line to the middle up from the bottom and one line to the middle down from the top okay you can see that this one is coming up from the top uh, this one's coming down or coming up from the bottom rather uh, okay, so now just like I did before, I'm just going to kind of fit these together. Um, you might have to wiggle a little bit, you might have to take it apart and make the cuts a little better, you might have to adjust uh, or edit like we learned from Sam. Um, but these two fit together well, great. And now I've got a little pine tree that stands up on its own to join my something tree. It's called an oak tree. Um, and if you want to make a bush like this, um, it is even a little bit easier. It's uh, exactly the same process. Um, just cut out two little bush shapes and make sure you're cutting um, Make sure you're cutting up from the bottom on one down from the top on the other and then just sliding them in together Excellent. All right. Well, that is it for our crafts today. Let's go add these bad boys to our city. Come on Come along with me Put This one next to the school we got lots of beautiful trees at the school. Boop. This one can go right here behind this man. Get a little bush. And this tree can go up here because I want it to. All right. Not too bad. All right. Well, thanks for coming by to another episode of Crafting with Cardboard. Hope you stay safe, creative, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.